Gary Reid. So much pride in that five foot five and a half inch frame. And credit to the corner as well for getting him into this condition to be able to deal physically and mentally with what Alushigan has done to him. So far still, the Nigerian. But he's stepping right back in after the, the burst of punches. That's what he has to do. That's the only chance he has for some success after Alushigan has finished his work. came in on the counter from Elushigan. But it's in the 10th round, and who would have thought Gary Reid would have got this far? Didn't look like it, I'm sure referee Keane didn't expect it because he had thoughts earlier on, but this is better, this is, at least it's competitive now. Reid, as we wanted, is now really giving it a go. Never been 12 rounds, Gary Reid. That Jose Lushigan has on one occasion when he won a, an African Boxing Union title against Victor Kabdenu back home in Nigeria. Still looks fresh, Lushigan. Yeah, he does. Well, he's been boxing at his own pace for most of this, remember. And he hasn't on, taken any of these uh, strength sapping body shots. He's dished out plenty of his own. And he knows how to burst then onto his bicycle for a, a half a minute or so knows what he's doing and never at any time is he taking regular punches right. Right. do you think he'll be content for this to go the full 12 rounds well signs are that he's uh, settled for a, a distance fight because I mean that that punch that Reed took in the previous round if that doesn't stop him I don't think anything will Because for all Gary Reid's heart, if a Jose Alushigan doesn't force a stoppage, there will be people asking why not. Yeah, but when you look down through the list of people who have, as you say, why is Alushigan not on that list? Well, we've always said Gary Reid is better than his record suggests. Yeah, Ted Bami. Stop Reed in a couple of rounds, Kevin Bennett in four, Young Mutley in seven, Barry Morrison in eight. He's still there, but he has had notice, and he is in good shape. He's a title, and Elushigan is a fighter who needs a title. People don't want to box him because there's nothing to gain. Well, if he's a title holder, then maybe some matches will be made. People will take chances against him. Just under six minutes to go for Gary Reid to make it through. And that will be a success in itself if you can go the full 12 rounds with the Lushigan. That body shot again. And still, Reid comes forward. Swings and hopes and tries. That's what he has to do. Swing and hope. That pr pretty much sums up the, the only plan he has. He's not going to box his way in as he was trying to do earlier. Have to take some chances and just hope something lands. Interesting the crowd here cheering the underdog when Gary Reed does come forward like that. Do you think he's won fans of Jose Lushigan tonight? I don't know. I mean, he's won the fight clearly. I don't know if we can say that he's dominated uh, Reid. It's not been quite a domination. Uh, he's kept him under control. But uh, I don't know. I can a disjointed style on the back foot a lot moving around the ring. I mean, he has shown his class uh, on several occasions. I don't know. Well, we had a high opinion of him, so we'll hold that high opinion, but I don't think he's enhanced it any. As we were saying a few seconds ago, the list of people who have managed to stop Reed 
and he's not on that list. So people have done the job better. He's managed 10 knockouts of Lushigan in his 19 wins. Maybe his punch power not quite as destructive. And Gary Reed giving Elushigan a taste of his own medicine. I'm still here, he's saying. I mean, there's no question he has all the classy moves, he is a classy performer. The question I'm asking now is, does he have a style that the public will warm to and want to pay good money to watch? That remains to be seen. Jumping around on his feet now, Elushigan. I mean, all the flash stuff and the, the posturing and all that, and the little alley shuffles, that's the kind of stuff that appeals to home fans. If he's not boxing, he certainly deserves it. A rather uh, lacklustre at times a Jose Elushigan after totally dominating the first five rounds. Just let Gary Reid back into this. It's like a cuffing right hook. Lushigan's throwing there. More of an inside of the glove shot there. Is there some damage to the hands? Has he treated this too much like a spa? Or has he just felt he's in total control? I think that's what it is. He knows there's no real danger of him losing, but that was a lovely punch. And he's showing the punch then throwing it. And that was class. He's really forcing Reed onto the defensive here. Just over two minutes, still to go. Hopefully he'll see that out. There is, of course, quality. African Games gold medalist, and you don't go to the Olympics. You can't fight. He can, Jose Lushigan. And he has wrapped up this Commonwealth like welterweight title, barring a last minute and a half disaster. Uppercut, beautiful move. He can do it, Jim. Yeah, he has all the classy moves. I mean, he, when he switches on, as he's doing now, when he's doing pretty much as he pleases with Reed. Reed really does need a tighter defence against these kind of punches coming from all angles. But we're talking about a journeyman that's come good of late and that's given it his best shot, and he's got to go home with our respect. Yep. Without a doubt, and I think he'll go home with at least a bit of self-satisfaction. But he gave it a go, and hopefully he can also say he took a good class fighter the 12 rounds. 30 seconds to go. The only the second time a Jose Lushigan has heard the final bell as a bit of the early shuffle. Harry Reid has never been 12 rounds. He might have lost every session. Three judges at ringside, Marcus McDonald, Terry O'Connor, Dave Paris. Really haven't got a decision to make, but he'll have made it. And that's a moral victory for the man from Stoke. But Jose Lushigan, though, for the most part, a boxing lesson and proving his class and quality. And he will become the Commonwealth 10-stone champion. Yep, no questions about that, but at least I'm pleased for Gary Reid. Eventually, he started giving it a go, got himself into 